Welcome back to Add Art. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to draw one of the most famous women in history, Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt who was born in 69 BC. Now, before I do, just a quick reminder to subscribe to Add Art and hit the bell. That way you'll be the first to know when I've released a new tutorial. OK, let's head up the Nile and make a start. First we'll begin by drawing Cleopatra's nose and her eyes, put one there, put the other one, and then the pupils, then we'll put her famous eye makeup in. Put the bridge of her nose and her lips in. Okay, let's bring her face down to her chin here. Let's give her a headdress with a cobra. Let's bring this down and across and up. Two eyes, and there's our snake head. Then we'll bring the band across her head. And put her hair in. Her eyebrows. Give her some braided hair with gold beads. And when she was 14 years old, her father, who was the king, died. So her and her brother became the co-rulers of Egypt. Imagine ruling the country at that age. Now this is going to be quite a symmetrical drawing. beads on this side. Let's put a neck in. We'll give her a big ornate necklace. And Cleopatra was considered one of the most beautiful women ever, but she was also one of the smartest. Apparently she spoke a dozen languages and learnt mathematics and philosophy, oratory and astronomy. Okay, let's bring her sleeve of a tunic down here. Put her arm in. We'll have her holding an ancient Egyptian religious symbol. And this is called an ankh, and it's a bit like a cross, but it's got this round piece at the top. And this symbol was their symbol for life. Now let's put the rest of a tunic in here. hand resting in her lap. We'll give her a golden belt here. First leg in, folds of a tunic, continue the belt down here, put her other knee in, and we'll have 
her feet facing us barefoot at the toes pointing towards us Cleopatra claimed to be the reincarnation of the Egyptian god Isis, but they actually also loved and worshipped cats. So let's put some of those as part of her throne here. Put the eyes in, triangular nose, mouth, put the front paws coming down. side. And the Egyptians worshipped a half cat, half woman goddess called Bastet. Now when Cleopatra's brother grew up, he wanted to rule Egypt on his own and he forced Cleopatra to leave, but she would have her revenge. She met and fell in love with Julius Caesar and convinced him to help her win back the throne, which they did. So let's finish this throne. Bring it up. Give her something to sit on. Bring it across here. Bring that down. piece behind her. With these feathers carved into the gold. Headpiece in. Looks like the sun's rays glowing behind her. Just bring the sides of this seat down. some detailing. Okay, now let's put some columns coming down. The ancient Egyptians were famed architects, obviously known for their pyramids which are still standing today. and across here.
put some drapes coming down. Some detailing on these columns. Maybe some grasses you might find growing alongside the Nile. We can put some hieroglyphics in here. Now these were pictures that ancient Egyptians used instead of letters. So each one of these symbols would have meant a sound or word or person. So we'll just copy the same details from the one column on this one. have some oil lamps burning brightly behind her. We'll put some flames coming out of those. And there we have it, there's Cleopatra the last pharaoh of Egypt. I hope you've enjoyed drawing along with that one today. Now, before I go, just a quick reminder to check out all my other tutorials like these on my Ad Art channel. You can do this by clicking on my double pencil profile picture. Also, if you've enjoyed drawing along with me today, do give this video a thumbs up as it really helps my channel grow. Finally, if you know someone who'd also love Ad Art, then please share the channel with them. But that's it for today, and I hope to draw along with you again soon. Bye for now.